power. We've already dealt with dilations before, so this is kind of review in a way. Um, now we're looking at our transformations, how it affects our shape um, when we dilate it by a certain scale factor. And we've talked about scale factor before. It's basically how many times bigger an object is. So we can have an enlargement or reduction. And we use the letter K for a scale factor. So over here, I'm going to do an enlargement. I'm going to increase this by a scale factor of 2. Well, over here, I want to reduce this image. Well, if I did a scale factor of 1, if something was one times bigger, it would be the exact same size. So I have to go less than 1 to shrink this. I can't have a negative scale factor, but I'm just going to go about half the size. So I'd have a fraction. Well, what we need to do is, what I like to do is, I like to draw my dash lines in through each point through the center. So they have to be dilated from some point. So these are all dilated from point A. So what I like to do is, I line it up through the point, and I'll just kind of dash a line through there. And I just go and do that to all three of my points. Because when they get dilated, they get dilated along the same line. And I'll show you what I mean. Whoops, got a little high on that one. Okay, so now all I do is I measure the distance of each one. So for example, this first one is about 4.4, 4.4 centimeters. I'm gonna write that there, 4.4 centimeters. Okay, let's measure the next one. Come on now. 4.4, and then we got it's about 4.9. Sounds about 4.9. And the last one, we are sitting at, whoa, let me do that. Right about three centimeters. Well, if I'm going to dilate it by a scale factor of 2, what do you think I multiply each thing by? Each distance by? Well, 2. So i got to take 3 times 2. So 6 centimeters for the 1. i got to take 4.9 times 2. So now I want a distance of 9.8 centimeters and take 4.4 times 2. So I want a distance of 8.8 .8 centimeters. So now those are all my new lengths from the point of dilation. And it's along the same line. So if I'm looking at my first point here, I'm still going from A, and I got a mark. Well, it's twice the size, so instead of three centimeters, now I'm jumping it all the way up to six centimeters, which is about right here. Six centimeters. Okay? So that would be my new, my dilated point. So for example, if this is called B, this would be B prime. Now I gotta do that for each point. So now I'm measuring, well, twice this distance is 9.8, which is all right there. And lastly, we gotta go 8.8, .8, which is about right here. 8.8, .8, which is about right here. And then I connect my new dots. Right, if they have letters, for example, if this is C and D, and this would be C prime and D prime. And there we go. I dilate it by a scale factor of two. It's just twice the distance along the line from whatever uh, point they get dilated from. And if I were to do it by a half, it would be the same type of thing. I'm just going to go ahead and just dilate one point here. I won't do the whole object. But for example, if I want to do the left side of this triangle, it's at about three centimeters. So like I said, draw my little dashed line in. And this is three centimeters. So if I'm going to dilate it by a scale factor of one half, I would take three times one half. What half of three is what? 1.5. So 1.5 centimeters would be my new one right along that same line, which would be about right there. So that would be my new point. So this is A, this would be A prime, and I would do that to all three, and I would have a triangle half the size. So there we go. So that's how we do it by hand with the ruler. If we get it on a coordinate plane, and it gets dilated about the origin, so for example here, um, 
Let's graph E, F, G, H first. So E is at negative 8, 4. F is at negative 4, 8. G is at 8, 4. And H is at negative 4, 8. Negative 8. Okay, and I'll connect my dots here. Pretty close. Cool. So, yeah. So, let's graph the image of EFGH to that after dilation centered at the origin. This is nice if it's centered at the origin. It's got a scale factor of one fourth. So, what do you think I multiply every single coordinate by? One fourth. I'm just going to take one fourth times every single coordinate, every single xy. Take one fourth times all of these. So, for example, if E is negative 8, 4, E prime, well, what's one fourth of negative eight? Negative two. What's one fourth of four? One. Right? All I did was multiply negative eight times one fourth, which was negative two, and I took four times one fourth, which is one. So hopefully, by this point in time in geometry, we're, we're pretty good at taking a fourth of a number. So F prime would be, well, a fourth of negative four is negative one, a fourth of eight is two. 2g prime, a fourth of 8 is 2, a fourth of 4 is 1, and h prime would be a fourth of negative 4 is negative 1, and a fourth of negative 8 is negative 2. And I just graph all my new points. I'm going to do this in green now. So let's go negative 2, 1 for e prime. So negative 2, 1 for e prime. Negative 1, 2 for f prime. 2, 1 for g. And negative 1, negative 2 for h prime. And if we connect, there we go. I just dilated it by a scale factor of 1 fourth. It should be about 1 fourth the size. Okay, so if it's about the origin, that's nice. I just multiply that scale factor by each point. Okay, so not too many. Just some, uh, some more work with our dilations, our last transformation.